looks like Siren is ready to mate and get us some more babies. So we're gonna have to get her moved in with the boys again so we have some spring babies from this lady. Hey guys. Did it. It's down there. Look, Boris is getting it. You're missing out, buddy. Go get it. Oh my goodness, Eggsy. <laughs> oh, and Siren stole it for the win. <laughs> the plan to move the lady pigs is to coax them with food. So the first thing we need to do is contain all of the other pigs. So we're going to cut some fresh greens, what little bit is left. Uh, and then we're going to toss it into the pig pen where the moms and the babies are. And then get a cup of feed and try to coax one mom pig at a time out, down through the mini pasture, out the other side and into the correct male pen. have come up with a very weird contraption to <laughs> get the ladies from where they are to the males where they are. So this should be fun. Well, we brought all the food in here and Siren is separate, uh, but she's not quite going the way we want her to go. So hopefully we can coax her down and she can come out here. All right, step one of the million step plan. We got her out of the pig area just by herself, but now she's in the goat area. And the plan is to get her through the door and into the mini pasture, and then out of the back of the mini pasture and into the pig pen, <laughs> which is luck. Oh yeah, lady likes the cabbage. We brought in some reinforcements so we could get her over to the boys area faster and it worked like a charm. This time around, we separated the boys out so we could choose our couples more easily. We planned to have Humphrey with Siren, Eggsy and Boris together, and then Mabel with Big Dog, who hasn't given us any babies yet. If they take, we will know in roughly three weeks, because pigs go into heat every three weeks. If they do not go back into heat by then, we will be planning our next pig pea catching adventure, and hopefully it will go a bit smoother than last time. Remember when I threw the cup across the pen like it was actually going to catch the pea itself? Yeah, let's hope we get better than that. We are very excited to see what mixtures we get from these couples because the piglets we had earlier this year were so adorable. If they get pregnant now, then that will give us little piggies around March. They're so close. Yeah, they're right there, I know. You see them and you smell them. Call them over to you, maybe she'll go over there. There, ooh, she found her way over. Hold it up so she can get over there. Just make sure the boys don't come out. All right, lift it up. Let her in there. All right, I'll shut it down. There we go. Mabel made it with them boys. She made her way all the way over. Cross country, huh? It was a long trip. Not really. <laughs> well, look at those boys checking her out. These pigs are in love.
our garden is looking pitiful, so we're gonna do something about it. We decided to plant some garlic. So the first thing we had to do was clean up some beds that were previously used in the summer. And after we got all the weeds and old plants pulled out, we tossed in a mixture of some topsoil and mulch, just so that way we could go ahead and deepen the bed a little further. And now we're gonna put in some garlic. We actually used the end of a old shovel to put the holes in and then I just let the girls toss in some garlic. We haven't gotten garlic in the last couple of years. One, because of the wild animals eating them and two, because our kiddos didn't realize that it was not grass and they took some scissors to them. The next thing that we decided to try was these grow bags. We actually got about eight grow bags and we had some potatoes that were growing eyes in the house. So since our potato harvest was very minuscule this year, and I mean like five potatoes, y'all, I decided to go ahead and plant some in the grow bags. And we're gonna experiment and hopefully we'll get some potatoes this year through the greenhouse. Yeah, y'all, we're growing potatoes over the winter. Okay, we had to lock up the goats when we were moving Mabel. <laughs> and because we locked them up, they went on protest when we let them out. They just like started yelling like crazy and I couldn't even film anything. They're still a little bit uh, talkative, but nothing like what they were a minute ago. I did give them a minute to kind of chill out and take in the fact that they're back out and ready to just roam. Sorry, the lighting is terrible. The sun is right behind me and it's just so bright. Velma. Velma. I know we had to lock you up to... I know. I know you're angry. She just keeps yelling. Ugh. She was interrupting me every time I told her to stop yelling. Velma. All right, y'all. We had to move the goats. We had to lock them up so we get. Oh my gosh, they're just not gonna stop, are they? Are you protesting? Are you protesting? Also, I wanted to um, <clears throat> mention something about the fact that I've changed my clothes. I don't know how many times, and Jalen's hair has also been changed during this whole video. So we actually moved the pigs over the course of a few days. We moved Siren the day that she was showing signs of being in heat as quickly as we could so that if there's a chance she gets pregnant, she gets pregnant now. And then we planned on moving Eggsy the following day but Jay's at work, so it ends up being me and Jalen, and Exy's pretty big, so sometimes she's a little hard to handle just the two of us. But if you guys watched it on our newest greenhouse video, our pigs got out. There oh. she goes. Well, that's cool. Pause, our pigs got out. And it was Eggsy, and she let all the babies out. So Jay actually just walked Eggsy right down to the boys' pen, and it was, like, perfect. So I didn't get any footage of that because we were in the process of filming, and the camera was up on the porch while we were running around getting pigs put back into pens. But then we moved Mabel today. Okay, so now that we have the girl pigs in with the boy pigs, we're going to have to keep an eye out on their heat cycle. We noticed that Siren was already in heat. The other two were not in heat. So we're gonna keep a really close eye on them for the next couple of days and see if we can catch when they go into heat so we can mark it on our calendar and we'll know when our three weeks is up. Otherwise we won't know when to start checking uh, for pregnancy. Oh, 
week. It's too funny. <laughs> That's where he got his name. Yeah. <laughs> you got snacks in your shoes for him. Is that where you've been hiding your Halloween candy? <laughs> All of the babies are now in the top area all by themselves. So we're thinking about maybe opening up the area and letting them share with the goats. What do y'all think? Let us know in the comments. Should the piglets live with the goats? Also, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Also, we wanted to let you guys know that if you're interested, Scarlet and Patch are still available. So if you're interested and you're local, let us know. Send us an email. It's in the description. Okay, guys? All right. We'll see you later. That's, That's the way. end. Bye. So. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> now that we have the boys in with the girls. No, no, scratch my nose. <laughs> Ugh. I felt like you were going to rip that stick right out of the ground. Well, it's a whole tree. I, I know. Thanks. Jeez, is that a fat joke? No, it's, it's a strength. Go. Oh my gosh, I've been recording this whole